Hello, my name is Maria Jose Alvarado. I am a registered dietitian, licensed nutritionist. Today I'm going to be speaking about anxiety and nutrition. Although the research between nutrition and anxiety is very limited, there's still enough empirical as well as biological evidence that supports the connection between these two. So why did I decide to talk about anxiety and nutrition? I get ask a lot of times Maria Jose please help me out I want to relieve my anxiety I get really anxious at times so I decided that I wanted to research on this topic to provide you guys with a more well-developed presentation about how anxiety has to do with nutrition and how we can control it throughout dietary habits we have gathered enough clinical evidence that supports the connection between nutrition and depression. Epidemiological studies have shown that a diet rich in fruits, vegetables, olive oil, nuts, legumes may actually have a protective mechanism against depression. On the other hand, a diet that is high in sugary foods as well as processed foods may actually increase depression. Around 18% of USA population suffer from anxiety and studies have shown an improvement in the depression score with foods that are high in fiber such as fruits and vegetables. However, for this presentation I want to focus on foods that help us cope and deal with anxiety. So first things first, okay, the big picture is like this, eating a diet that is healthy, a diet that does not contain much processed foods, staying hydrated most of the time, not most of the time, staying hydrating all the time, as well as limiting caffeine, limiting or avoiding alcohol will definitely help you relieve your anxiety. Now to go more deep into the topic, complex carbohydrates will definitely help you stay full staying full because imagine you have you have two options for dinner you have either ice cream and some fast food and you also have grilled chicken and whole wheat pasta okay so what's gonna make you feel better definitely option number two okay option number two has less processed if any less processed ingredients as well as you can control the amount of sugar if any that there is on these meals by having this under control okay you are gonna you are going to be feeling much fuller you're going to be feeling more calm as well as having a really high processed meal that will probably raise your blood glucose super high and then you are on this yin yang blood glucose levels okay that's what's gonna cause you to get jiggery and to get most likely very anxious Another thing to keep in mind regarding nutrition and anxiety is don't skip meals. When you skip meals, you have the probability of dropping your blood sugar levels. This may cause you to feel jittery or nervous. So skipping meals may actually worsen your anxiety. Okay, so now what foods can we eat that are going to help us relieve our anxiety? So foods high in zinc, such as oysters, cashews, liver, egg yolk, just to mention a few, have been linked towards lowering anxiety. Fatty fish, such as salmon, that contain omega-3 fatty acids, a study in 2011 showed the correlation between omega-3 fatty acids and anxiety, okay? Before this study, omega-3 fatty acids have been linked towards depression only. So this is something to keep in mind in our diet. A recent study in the Journal of Psychiatry Research showed a link between probiotic foods and anxiety. Eating foods rich in probiotics such as kefir or pickles was linked to fewer symptoms. Foods rich in B vitamins such as avocados, almonds, these feel-good foods spur the release of neurotransmitters such as dopamine and serotonin. These foods are safe to eat and are actually the first step towards dealing with anxiety. Anxiety is thought to be correlated with a lower antioxidant state. So perhaps incorporating foods that are rich in antioxidants in your diet may help you relieve these symptoms of anxiety. So according to USDA, Foods that are high in antioxidants include beans, okay, so black beans, red beans, pinto beans, fruits, bananas, prunes, blueberries, blackberries, strawberries, nuts, walnuts, cashews, almonds, vegetables, of course, kale, spinach, artichokes, 
and also the ingredient, active ingredient in turmeric, as well as ginger. All of these foods are high in antioxidant and may help you ease your anxiety disorder symptoms. Although nutritional psychiatry is not meant to substitute for other treatments, there is a strong evidence that connects the link between nutrition and our mental health. I recommend you follow some of the advice that I gave to you on this presentation and let me know how do you feel. For you, once again, my name is Maria Jose Alvarado, registered dietitian, licensed nutritionist. Thank you very much for watching and thank you Wellness Work Days.